Hey everyone, today we're pulling out the rear axle for Doyce as we're going to get it narrowed so we can put fat tires on it and get a reverse offset rims, get the cool look in it. Kevin, behind me, is removing it. All right, Kevin, we're going to have to speak up. I guess it's pouring rain outside, so... Well, we were praying for rain, and now we're complaining it's raining too much. Yeah, <laughs> right? Never happy. But, hey, Florida, so we just kind of expect it anyway. Yeah, so Kevin's uh, pulling the pumpkin out. We're going to slide the axles after we get ready to get all these loosened and then get the brakes off, put them on the table over there. We're going to pull the axle out, and we're going to send it to advanced drive line. They're going to narrow it down. The shape of the casting, they got to use an open-end wrench to get in the bottom here to yeah. get the nuts off of the couple, of the pumpkin. A couple little areas are tough. Pumpkin out on the part here. We're getting ready to snag the rest of the unit out and uh, we're going to send it to advanced drive line like we were talking about. Get it narrowed down. I don't know, probably about either minimal two inches per side, probably max three inches per side. I'm going to do final measurements. That way we can stuff the biggest tire under here and get that good look offset that Joyce wants for this particular truck build. Right now I'm just taping a couple rags over top of the the frame here because I'm going to start just like I did on that top link on the rear. I'm going to start tying them up out of the way so when I come back and put it together, we just slide it in, everything drops right in, the hardware is right there, and then in 30 minutes or so, the rear end is right back in. So hopefully it will all work out just that easy. <laughs> What Kevin's doing right now is we're going to be taking the coilovers off and the four link off and then we're ready to take the housing back out. Out. Well, I just think it's up over the rear end there a long time. 
All right, so Kevin's going to secure everything. We're going to blanket it all back up, and then our next big step is going to advanced drive line. All right, Kevin, thanks. Oh, thank you. No, no, thanks no, for no, joining thank us. you, yes. <laughs> Paul, what are we up to? I'm cleaning right now, see if it comes off. No, no. I'm just trying to clean some stuff up. It's, uh, as you have uh, taught me, it is better to clean up the old, really good stuff than to go purchase stuff that is less than, uh, less than adequate and not by design. Unfortunately, today, that's what we run into. If you noticed, even as the owner of this 69 GTO, some of the new stuff we're buying is only going to be half the life cycle of the original part because in terms of quality. Yeah, so I'm, uh, you know, I've, I've cleaned up some of these uh, parts. This is a uh, visor uh, uh, hardware right now. Um, and although it's not perfect, I actually like the history marks uh, that are going to be left on it. So... I'll have a little bit of dents, bumps, scrapes, and bruises, but uh, that's history. Yes, it is. And it comes okay part of the car. There's Paul's brakes. We did the front end. We put her all back together. 1969 correct. All the hardware is now correct. Paul, Kevin, Hank, myself, we just kept swinging the bat at it, and we got it right. We're down to a couple of little tiny little items, but for the most part, we're going to be putting all the paint markings back. You can see some of them in already. The rotors are new, calipers are new. We just processed everything, make sure it was all base coat clear coated. Yes, base coat clear coated. Here's the back of the car. And yeah, the drums behind the drums are even prettier. What's really nice about this project uh, is Paul's helping us out. He's doing a lot of labor work trying to get the trunk all cleaned out. We're going to be pulling the body off the chassis pretty soon, putting on the rotisserie, and uh, we're going to be laboring all the rhino liner back off underneath to get it nice and prepped so we can go in and gun it down semi-gloss black like they did in 1968 when we're building. And that's going to wrap it up. I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of what's going on here at this little tiny shop called Classic Car Creations. I appreciate you all checking in, subscribing, everything, all the fun stuff. A um, lot more good stuff coming up. Um, I'm going to keep the content kind of rolling here. You're going to see a lot of different videos with a lot of different content because we have like six cars we're going to be rolling through here. Plus one very special car as this car goes to final body work. Wait till you see the vehicle that comes in that sits alongside of Eleanor. Everyone, thanks so much for your time. Take care. We'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.